Let's play with functions in Scala language. What we'll do is we'll start with uh, a simple object. Let's say play with functions and let's have a main method uh, main that takes in an array of string as an argument. All right. If you want to define a function, so here is the syntax. Say you want to write a function using the def keyword and it takes in arguments. You say r1, you can give a data type, r2, say data type, colon, the return value. And you want to invoke this, you can pass the arguments. Say I want to write a function called add and you want to pass two integers r1 int r2 int and it returns an integer and you want to say return r1 plus r2. Let's invoke this println you can say add pass say 12 comma 45 add is a function that accepts two integers and returns an integer and you use return keyboard and return the value you want to run this you get 57 now I'm going to shorten this add method I'm going to show you different variations of writing this method instead of creating another method called add uh, let's try to write methods like subtract, multiply and divide with different uh, variations. Scala gives you an extremely relaxed syntax and the syntax is very concise. So let's start with uh, a subtract function. I want to say subtract it takes in two arguments x and y. It's going to return an integer and I'm going to say x minus y. Now, I don't want to use this return keyword. You can just ignore it. In Scala, the last line in your function is considered as the return value. Whatever the last line evaluates to, okay, that's automatically returned. If you want to invoke this, you just say subtract 12 comma say 2. If you run this, you get 57, you get 10. Now, let's make this even more concise to create a multiply function it returns an integer and my function multiply function it just has one line instead of opening parenthesis I'm going to say x star y so it's just one line you want to invoke this you can say multiply 3 comma 4 and when you run this get this even better right let's make it even better let's have a divide function x comma n and and I don't want to really say colon n does a return value right the last line is anyway going to be returned so I just say divide x and y equals x slash y now this is a function that takes in two integers and returns an integer but you don't have to really specify that you want to invoke this you can just say divide 4 comma 2 when you run this you get this so we started with uh, the law we took the long route what we did was declared a created of defined a function that takes in two arguments open curly braces use a return keyword then the next function we uh, Kind of ignore the return keyword because the last line is anyway going to be evaluated and return and we wrote a multiply function without parenthesis because this is a one line function and the last function divide you don't really have to specify the return value now you can look at the different ways of defining functions let's say you have a an object say math and i want to define these functions over here so see add 
x int int p equals x plus y. So when you want to invoke this, you can say val sum equals math dot add three comma four, and you can say println sum this. So run this, you get sum seven. Let's look at an option. Okay, uh, a much easier way to invoke a function that takes in one argument. Say you have a function called square. You're going to pass an integer, and say x star x. Now if you want to invoke this function, you want to say square, okay, let's say sq equals math dot square five and print ln, I'm going to say square and give this expression. Let's see the output. Now, one of the advantages of using, uh, uh, one of the advantages of having a, a function that accepts one argument in Scala is the syntactical sugar. You can ignore the dot and the parenthesis. So you can just say math space square space five. When you run this, you get the same output, but this just reads like your plain English statement. Uh, remember your SQL query select star from something like that. Okay, so this is the syntactical sugar that you get on a function that accepts one argument. You can just ignore the dot and your parenthesis. So these are the different ways of uh, creating and uh, creating functions in Scala. This is just the first part of uh, this topic. If you have any questions, you can always feel free to mail me at prabhu at durasoftindia.com. Thank you.